What's up guys? This is Serpent Stillsmith here. Um, so I got a PRS. I've always wanted one. I've actually had one before. I didn't really bond with it. Um, it was the same model. This is a McCarty. Um, but for, for whatever reason, this one I absolutely love. Um, back then when I got the other one, I actually did not know how to set up my own guitars very well. But um, I did a setup on this guy and it sounds great. plays great. It's awesome. So let's take a look at it. Um, so the McCarty model I think it was uh, sort of inspired by Ted McCarty or a tribute to him being more like a before all the single cuts came out more like a Les Paul um, than anything since he, he's the guy I think he owned Gibson or one a very heavily influential guy at Gibson in the 50s and 60s so uh, he was uh, Paul, Reed, Paul Reed Smith's mentor um, but this guitar has a uh, maple top just like almost all PRS's except for the standards mahogany body um, Two humbuckers. Um, these are actually changed from the McCarty pickups. These are uh, Seymour Duncan Jazz in the neck and a uh, JB in the bridge, which is the Jeff Beck bottle. For those of you guys who don't know what JB means, um, kind of weird to think about that with humbuckers in a JB because he usually plays strats. Um, wraparound tailpiece, which at first I was a little skeptical of. It's kind of like a Les Paul Jr. thing, um, but it, it's very comfortable and I guess it helps does something with coupling the strings to the bridge for sustain, something like that. So um, The top is nicely flamed, but not too flamed. I don't like the whole tin top thing, I'm not into that at all. Um, it looks just nice enough. So, you know, I mean, uh, it, it has a nice flame to it, but nothing too gaudy. Um, I guess cool McCarty burst, you can see it's a little dinged up. This is not a perfect guitar by any stretch of the imagination. Um, definitely been gig, played, has some dings, which I like. Um, I don't have to worry about it, um, but uh, let's check out the, f uh, the, the fretboard, um, Rosewood fretboard with uh, the moon inlays, this camera didn't really focus, but um, you can kind of see it's actually a moon, um, pretty cool, I like it a lot, there's the headstock, which I love the headstock, very cool, um, McCarty on the truss rod cover, um, but yeah, I love also the uh, natural binding, very cool. I love natural binding. You can kind of see the little uh, tiger stripe pattern going on there. Um, so let's. Uh, oh, and also a really cool feature with this guitar, it has a push pull push pull coil tap function, which makes, for example, we have this pulled up, that turns this into a single coil. Put that into the bridge position. That's a single coil, and then this kind of gives you the in between kind of stratty sound, which is very cool. Doesn't sound like a strat, but it's you know it's as good as you can get, I think, um, in this situation with these pickups. So let's check out the back. Oh, before I turn it over, I want to say that I absolutely love the uh, carved nature of this body. Absolutely awesome. I'm not trying to be a, a fanboy because this is my you know like a second one, but the first one I one I currently own. But it's just so elegant feeling. Looks great. So let's turn it over. Alright, so here's the back of the guitar, nothing too special. Has this nice carve right here at the top. Um, you can see the dings, no big deal. And since this is the stop tail, there's no huge route that you see on the uh, trim models, which I like. A lot of people complain about this neck joint. Um, I think it's fine. If it gets a little, a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit cramped up into the, you know, 22nd fret. But, um, you know, it's, to be honest, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, it kind of helps to have something to grab onto with this. Um, but I, I, really, I do like the neck joint a lot. The uh, it goes actually underneath the bridge or the neck pickup, which is supposedly supposed to do something with tone. I don't know, but it's kind of a cool cool feature. Um, this is a wide, fat neck, which I love. I love big necks now. Got away from the Ibanez, it's kind of crazy small thing. Um, and this has, I think these are the kind of vintage, I guess, Goto. I think Goto makes ones on, on Gibsons, I forgot, to be honest. I, I'm probably incorrect and sound like an idiot, but um, these are really cool tuners. I, on my Gibsons, I, I was always skeptical of these because they wouldn't stay in tune very well, but I guess this is this stays in tune great. That's another great thing about this guitar. And the serial number is neatly written in pen, which I do think is kind of cool. Keeps a almost kind of like, um, I don't know, personal feel to the guitar where it's not just like stamped on. So that's very cool. Um, what else can I just talk about this? I will say this guitar, let me flip it over again. 
This guitar is extremely well made, um, as good as any guitar I own, you know, among the best. Um, just everything just so nicely done. I like the uh, kind of countersunk controls. Very elegant idea. Um, I'm not a Purist fanboy at all, but um, I just think their guitars are very elegant looking. And a lot of times people say that they have no soul or all this stuff about not having any mojo, but in my opinion that's BS. It's all about the player. So without further ado, let's, let's hear some sounds. Here's the guitar in question. Um, the McCarty. I think it's like a 2001. Um, I'm going to be playing through something different today. Magnator Mod 50. Head right here. This is my main live head. <laughs> Screamer, get a little dirty. That's the regular humbucker. Is it tapped? Here's the 
is just totally clean, with some delay. So overall guys, uh, I'm extremely happy with this guitar. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you is um, the scale length really helps keep stuff tight. For example, um, if I was going to kind of get a little bit of a distortion rhythm going, you know. This is uh, actually tuned down a half step. So it's very tight feeling, like the, the bridge. I just certain bridge bridges on the guitars like feel nice. <laughs> supposed to be doing they're vibrating nicely um, it just sounds great so uh, I'm gonna start doing a little rating system in these reviews because I think it really would help um, and I might even do some kind of pros and cons thing so I guess if I was to rate this guitar um, I would probably give it a I guess a 9 out of 10 um, I just think it's very well thought out very well constructed um, the only issue would be the heel is a little big but you know it doesn't really bug me, to be honest. I have really long fingers. Um, and I guess other than that, uh, I mean, there's no tremolo. And, but, you know, you really lose a lot of stain and, and kind of chunkiness with the tremolo, in my opinion. So uh, the coil tap's great. It's not going to sound exactly like a Stratocaster or a Telecaster with the coil tap. I think some of the new guitars actually, from Pure Pier S actually do. Um, have a lot more of that sort of cynical sound, but you're, it's a compromise, you know, these are humbuckers. So, um, overall though, I love this guitar. Um, sounds great, looks great, feels great. So thanks for watching, guys.